welcome back to Wogo Remake Ken 101. Last time I showed you how I animated Tinkerbell and Toon Boom Harmony for my Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection Wogo Remake, and let me tell ya, it was quite cumbersome to get done. Please check out part 1 before moving on with this part. You did? Great! So we will now conclude this demonstration with the remaining steps. After animating Tinkerbell, I went ahead and designed the layers needed for the Masterpiece Collection banner. Clip Studio Paint, my go-to art program for the past several months at this point, was where I made them. These layers include the handwritten Walt Disney name, the dot and the I of Disney, and the straight line on the D, the words Masterpiece and Collection typed out in a bold font, and the banner itself, which I made using the pen tool, the brush tool, the gradient tool, and by pasting the Sweeping Beauty Castle silhouette. Once again, the original logo served as my reference. Next, using a soft airbrush, I drew the little spark that writes out Walt Disney's name in the logo, followed by the burst of light that appears when Tinkerbell waves her wand to form the banner. layers were drawn into an animation folder with onion skin enabled. Same thing for the trail of pixie dust that Tinkerbell will weave. Now what I neglected to mention in the previous part of this demonstration were the 12 principles of animation. Unfamiliar with them? They're basically 12 essential steps developed by Disney themselves to create animations that look believable and appealing. Watch these videos for a better explanation on each principle. The ones I've applied thus far for this vulgar remake include Straight Ahead, Arcs, and Secondary Accent. See if you can point out any other principles once we've reached the final results. I commonly use the Straight Ahead principle when I'm recreating logos especially the ones that were already hand-drawn. Refer to the going frame-by-frame frame trick I showed you last time. So once I'm done in Clip Studio Paint, it's finally time to put everything together in After Effects. Since the fourth classic logo remake party, this is typically where my remakes, or at least a rough cut of it, are completed. All of my needed layers have been imported, included the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo itself, for both reference and warrant the opacity to 0%, weaving just the audio active. So with my main composition created, I have to make one especially for the Walt Disney name that's gonna be written. To create the illusion of the name right in itself, I inserted a mask over the Walt Disney layer and added keyframes to its path while manipulating it. This is the same technique I used in my two recent Doodle videos. Now I'll do the same thing to the straight line in the D and the dot in the I. Then I brought over the little spark that'll follow along the path I had just keyframed. You'll also notice that I created a golden gradient overlay for the Walt Disney logo, and soon I'll copy and paste that same overlay onto the Masterpiece Collection text, albeit with some minor adjustments. Once I'm done inside the Walt Disney composition, I'll drop it into the main comp in order to rotate and zoom it out along with the words Masterpiece Collection. Of course, we cannot forget about our lovely lady with wings. I basically chroma keyed the lavender background out of my Tinkerbell footage, inserted the necessary keyframes, and added a glow effect to kind of enhance her magical status. Next I animated the flash of white in its own comp, and I threw in the purple arc, scaling it so that it wraps around the words nicely, although I'd also have to scale down the words themselves. Then I animated the remaining sparkly stuff. Basically, when you're getting yourself into After Effects, 
you'll want to make great friends with composition and keyframing, among other things you could do in the program. I can't stress enough how useful this program has been for my animations as of late. Just as a friendly reminder, leave any questions about my entire process in the comment section, because it's good to see such inquisitiveness. Yes, nailed it! Okay, with all my steps done, I'll add my main composition to the render queue. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Excellent. Expect this to be a highlight in Classic Local Remake Party 5, coming this spring. I hope you guys found both parts of this lesson extremely helpful. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more local and animation content like this, hit the bell so you won't miss a new update, leave your feedback in the comments, share this video around with your fellow local fanatics, and consider supporting me on Ko-fi or PayPal for my hard work. Thanks for watching, and let's hope 2021 will be an even better year. Take care.